Three games into the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer reign at Manchester United, and it really is hard to not get too excited about what you are seeing. Manchester United, four goals again, this time against Bournemouth in a 4-1 victory that could have easily been a lot more. 5-1 against Cardiff in his first game. 4-1 against Huddersfield in his first home game as manager. And now another 4-1. Another clean sheet goes missing thanks to a goal from Nathan Ake, but that is not the headline today. The headline once again stolen by Paul Pogba, but Marcus Rashford had a brilliant performance. Nemanja Matic looks like a man reborn in midfield. This Manchester United team, yes, we're going to come up against tougher teams. What Jamie Carragher was saying at the end of the game there. But who gives a fuck about that? Let's just look at the positives that we are seeing right now because for me, it's just nice to be enjoying watching Manchester United again. That maybe sounds strange to some people, but having watched United play under Mourinho for two, three seasons, I rarely saw our players express themselves. And that really is the main thing that Solskjaer has said that he is trying to get across to the players. And it's the main thing that's coming across on the pitch. Marcus Rashford's feet for that first goal was proper Ronaldo-esque. I'm not sure that Rashford would have tried that under Mourinho, if, if I'm being perfectly honest. And his renewed energy and focus is reflective across the whole team. You know, Luke Short left back, Ashley Young, and Herrera in midfield. Some of his passes against Bournemouth are fantastic. But the player we've really got to talk about today is Paul Pogba. He was called a virus by Jose Mourinho. And I do think his attitude at that point was part of the issue. But you cannot argue with what you're seeing from Paul Pogba with three nine out of 10 performances in a row. Two or three assists against Cardiff, depends how you look at that one. Two goals against Huddersfield. I think he might have got an assist as well there. And today, another two goals, another assist, and nearly got a hat-trick if it wasn't for a wonderful save from Begovic. Paul Pogba is bossing that midfield, just like we wanted him to the whole time under Mourinho. And I've got to say that Mourinho is certainly at fault there for leaving a player of that quality on the bench because of a personal issue between the two. It was his job as a manager to manage his players. He failed with Paul Pogba in that respect. And Jose Mourinho is gone and Paul Pogba has returned. And this isn't because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is one incredible manager. It's simply because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is letting Paul Pogba play football. And Manchester United right now are simply playing football. We're playing it well. You know, 3-1 up at half time. We could have killed the game there. If that was Jose Mourinho, maybe we would have brought on someone like Fellaini, someone to slow the game down. But we didn't. We kept going. We got a fourth. Romelu Lukaku scored after only being on the pitch for a few minutes. Fair enough to Lukaku. I don't think he's going to get much game time in this team, though, because his movement's not good enough. But that's a different point altogether. I don't really want to focus on the negatives because we've been negative all season long. Now all we're seeing is five goals against Cardiff, four goals against Huddersfield, four goals against Bournemouth. And it could have been more. And Newcastle are next. Manchester United really are back in the mix. With Arsenal getting absolutely spanked by Liverpool. Chelsea wobbling under Sarri. You've got to say that top four is absolutely on if United keep this early resurgence up. Now, when the bigger tests come, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's tactics and management will be, will be tested massively. But all he's had to do since he's come in as manager is just get the players believing again. Get them playing football again. Get them playing expressive football just to be happy again. And we've done that in abundance. Four goals, four goals, five goals. No clean sheets, though. Eric Bai, he's an absolute hothead. I love him to bits. He's so fun to watch. But I suppose that's not the first thing you want your centre-back to be, is it? He's got to cut that out of his game. And it's up to him to do it. Because that was a silly card. Fair enough, it was a red card. I think it was a little bit wild. But fuck the, positive, fuck the negative, sorry. I'm so used to saying that. Man United again, scoring four goals. Rashford looking brilliant. That front three for me, Lingard, Rashford and Martial, I love watching it because there's so much movement. And when a player like Pogba playing like that, you can find your players in behind. And that's what we did from the start. We killed the game again by half-time. That's Manchester United. We should be doing that at home against any team. But who's your man of the match? For me, it was standout Paul Pogba. I don't expect Paul Pogba to play like that every week. No player can play like that every single week. But if he can do that and then mix that up with some six, seven out of tens, just don't play like he did against Southampton, where the game just passes him by. Paul Pogba's better than that. And right now we're seeing the fruits of just letting Pogba run free. Well done, Solskjaer, for doing that. Well done, United, for another convincing win. Another three points and another four goals. 
Things are on the up. We're heading into 2019 with a real big smile on our faces. And I'll tell you what, as a United fan, that's a big change for Mourinho. That's the main change. So enjoy your new year. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on it as always and subscribe to United People's TV. Man United on the up again. Enjoy it.